about four years after the acquisition in a development that underlines the pressure that the loss making unit had brought upon over 100 year old lender. The lender's board had since September last year toyed with different ideas, including the thought of putting it or putting in an additional capital, something it had done on several occasions before. But NBK looked like a bottomless pit. KCB had sunk about 14 billion shillings into NBK since acquiring it in December 2019. And keeping NBK would have required it to inject in between 5 billion and 8 billion shillings as additional cash to comply with Central Bank of Kenya minimum capital ratios and also support the operations of the lender. In other stories, just months after 